fun was this? Oh Watching my goodness, this yeah, that last drive, right? Wow. Well, look at this right here. This isn't the first time a local player has made a name for himself as a Super Bowl champ and an MVP. Uh, this afternoon, we're being joined by Super Bowl MVP, Mark Rippon. He led the Washington team to a 1991 Super Bowl win. Yeah, huge. Thank you for being here with us yeah. tonight. You're welcome. I just kind of wondered your thoughts on, on the game last night and the fact that Cooper Cup, a local kid, won the Super Bowl and the MVP award like yourself back in the day. Well, I think first we're all excited for the game and, and watching a local kid do well and right. and then congratulate a local kid, not for yeah. only doing well. What a year he had. Mm -hmm. First of all, I mean, he wins, what, uh, comeback player of the year, mm -hmm. offensive player of the year, uh, triple the, crown, the triple crown. you yeah. know, there's only three other, three other receivers that have won the triple crown. And then to do what he did yesterday, especially when Odell Beckham was gone was and, he's being and he's being double teamed yeah. <laughs> and right. doing everything in their right mind to, right. Uh, so, Kudos to Cooper Cup, the screaming eagles out there at Eastern. Uh, it's just a great passing of the torch to a young kid that has, uh, I think, meant a lot for this area here. And the 509 can celebrate again. Uh, another guy that has done well and, and especially ends it off and culminates with the Super Bowl MVP. Yeah. As someone who has been in this position before, almost this exact same position, Super Bowl MVP, Super Bowl champion, what do you think Cooper is, is going through right now? What are the emotions? What, what is the schedule like? Well, just listen to you guys earlier, to, uh, getting up at five or, or nine in the morning after a Super Bowl, you know, to uh, celebrate with his family probably last night and all this look at the wonderful. There, well, you yeah, it was that? a spiral, too. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the, uh, the shocker look of the whole that. deal. Right. Look at a couple pounds ago, too. Right. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, man. I'm yeah. just curious about um, if you'd be able to give us some insight. How did your life change after? After winning a Super Bowl and getting the MVP award? Yeah, insurmountable. I mean, what what that will do to, for Cooper and what that did for me in, in, in the city here of Spokane, open some doors to do yeah. some wonderful charitable work mm -hmm. and meet some great people throughout the years. And I know in Super Bowl 60, I'm not sure they haven't uh, set where the site is yet, but they bring back all the MVPs. So I'll be great to hang yeah. out with Cooper and talk about the 509 and his, his days at uh, Eastern Washington and my days at WSU. But um, I just, it, it'll be uh, incredible. I mean, he's got such a great career ahead of him. Mm -hmm. Knock on wood, he stays healthy, mm -hmm. you know. And um, But to his family and, and all the people that supported him, it was just a wonderful day. How long did it take when you were in the game, the actual Super Bowl, to where the butterflies went away, if there were any? Mm -hmm. Always the first snap. <laughs> yeah. Is that I mean, it? You probably know that, Mark. Yes, I mean, it's just get getting that first, first snap. And, me, yeah, yeah and, and I remember, you know, I'm throwing the first three th routes that I had were hitch routes. and three-step drops, and I, and I actually cracked my rib on the second play of the game um, <laughs> just because, you know, their intensity and they're matching their intensity. Yeah. We had an off, a, a very veteran offensive line group. and uh, it's I'll funny. say the Hogs. Oh, the Hogs. It's funny, <laughs> it's funny how the Super Bowl is, is like corporate America comes in, has a big old party, yeah. mm -hmm. and yep. the Bengals and the Rams, you guys go off and do your thing and then put on a good show on Sunday, and it was awesome. The, the halftime, I thought, the entertainment on halftime was, was great. I mean, it's yeah. not my genre of music, but I was absolutely entrenched <laughs> right. in watching right. all the uh, R&B and, and rap and all that, or, or is it, or hip -hop? Yeah, hip -hop. Yeah, yeah, hip -hop. yeah, 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 right. yeah. You're talking about yeah. Hey, welcome to my world. Yeah. It was great. I, I was entertained. I thought it was just yeah, uh, yeah. the whole show, and it started out really quick and fast in the middle of the game kind of there's some lulls in it you know and there's some injuries and, right and then uh, the way it ended and, and basically Stafford and Cooper Cup willing the Rams oh my win. gosh I had one last question for you sure. uh what, what what would it be like or what was it like for you as a quarterback to have a receiver like Cooper Cup or did you ever have a receiver like Cooper Cup <laughs> where you could just throw it up and you knew he was going to get it I had three of them yeah that's I was blessed even more than than uh, Stafford was. I mean, you know, Woods went out this year with an injury. Odell Beckham came in. Yeah. Of course, Cooper Cup the year that he had. But I had uh, the posse, Gary Clark, Ricky Sanders, and Art Monk, you know. Hello. I mean, <laughs> a Hall of Famer and Art Monk, and Gary yeah. Clark should be in the Hall of Fame, and Ricky Sanders. And so I, I, was, I was pretty fortunate. And you know as a quarterback that yeah. you're only as good as the guys up front. That's true. And, uh, I love that. And that's, that's one of the reasons why a Cooper Cup um, becomes an MVP is that there's – you know, those guys pave yeah. the way for the, the skill athletes to do what they do, we, both we should, on offense and defense. We should let everyone know, uh, still an MVP, does incredible amount of charitable work, right. uh, especially here in the yeah. Spokane, well, the, community the Cancer Ripon Fund. Now we yeah. merge with the Community Cancer Fund, and yeah. we're still having the Andrew Ripon Initiative in honor of my son and doing wonderful yeah. work here. And I said, again, this has opened some doors to some incredible businessmen and women here in Spokane that have, have uh, opened up their, uh, their pockets and really helped a, a lot of young kids and their families here in the, in the Northwest.
Mark Rippon, thank you very yeah. much for your time. They're yelling us to, to wrap right oh, here. No worries. Thanks, thanks so much for your insight. Tom, great seeing you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Always great seeing you, Mark. Okay, we're going to continue our celebration of Cooper Cup. That's later tonight on Creme 2 News. Be sure to watch Creme 2 News at 6.30. Mark, watch this at 6.30 tonight. <laughs> it's a 30-minute special celebrating this incredible moment uh, from Eastern Washington alum and the pride of the Inland Northwest. We're going to be celebrating Cooper Cup together again at 6.30.